and thank you for joining Tactical Reviews for this look at the Cold Steel Sparta XL G10, a real enthusiast knife. Um, in the main video you'll also see some slow-mo of the opening and uh, slicing ability of this incredible blade. I'm a fan of really big folders and uh, this is definitely <laughs> one of the biggest. Uh, I say that because many people would say the Cold Steel Esparta XL was the biggest there is, but there is one that beats it, which is uh, an Open L uh, number 13. I'll show you that size-wise in a moment just to compare. But in terms of an actual usable knife, um, the grip and everything else about the Esparta XL uh, makes it outstanding. Um, now, I like the special editions, and for example, uh, the Raja 2, which is one of my favourite workhorse folding knives. Um, I have a Raja 1. I do like the, uh, the special edition versions with the aluminium bolsters and so on. Uh, the Espada uh, range are outstanding um, with the polished handles, but if your hand gets wet, uh, I do find them a lot more slippery. Um, with the G10 versions, Cold Steel have really given you an absolute mass of grip. Um, on the close-up photos in the review, you'll see just how much grip, and it really doesn't go anywhere out of your hands. So, Raja 2, Espada, XL. Now, okay, the Raja 2 is already a large knife, but how about a little bit of a throwback here? This is uh, a master cutlery copy or uh, replica of the Rambo First Blood knife. And here is the Espada XL. Uh, the one that I mentioned earlier, the Open L, this really is a display knife because it is just an open L. That's really, really big. So when you compare it to the Espada XL, okay, overall it's a bit bigger, but there's no comparison in terms of usability. The open L is, is more of a, um, a curiosity. Uh, the Espada XL is a substantial tool. I just want to show you some of the, the grip options. The, uh, the, the handling of this knife is absolutely fantastic. So, not doing the pocket open, but the, most, the forward most grip gives you incredible power. And then we move on to those grips that are more suited to swinging, slicing and chopping. So we can come back over the, uh, the grip in several different positions until we're all the way into the tail of the knife grip. And even I take that to two fingers for slashing. But at this extreme grip position, uh, you might find it's a little bit insecure. Three fingers on, though, is still incredibly secure, powerful and fast.